all of us have been taught that women who have had a hysterectomy have a higher risk of cardiovascular disease, but not so fast. Now in Jack, researchers compare the changes in risk factors for cardiovascular disease leading up to and following hysterectomy with or without bilateral oophorectomy with the changes observed up to and following natural menopause. In the study of women's health, by 2008, about 1,800 women had reached natural menopause. 77 women had a hysterectomy with ovarian conservation, and 106 women had a hysterectomy with bilateral oophorectomy. And here's the surprise. Multivariable analyses showed that annual changes in cardiovascular risk factors did not vary by group, and the significant group differences that did emerge were not in the anticipated direction. So, change your thinking. Hysterectomy with or without ovarian conservation is not a key determinant of cardiovascular risk factor status, either before or after elective surgery in midlife. The results provide reassurance to women and their clinicians that hysterectomy in midlife is unlikely to accelerate women's cardiovascular disease risk, that risk factors are likely complex in their formation, and it also points out that so-called conventional wisdom my least favorite expression is often flat out wrong. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.